Happy Saturday everybody out there in YouTube world. I'm going to do another video for you guys today. It's not very, not a very specific update I guess. I don't have anything new that I built. I just want to show you guys the progress of the Dutch buckets and the giant Dutch buckets. And you can get an idea of uh, the progress I'm making on those. And uh, I'll probably give you guys a tour of uh, the rest of the garden. So uh, here we go. We'll start out over here with my crack key container where I was growing carrots but I harvested all those and I thought maybe I'll try to plant some corn in here and see what it does so I'll give you guys a view of that right now so check it out so I pulled out all the carrots and that were in here and I and I have corn growing in there so far so good there's some over here on this side that haven't quite sprouted yet or they did sprout and they died this one looks like it died not exactly sure why, if it was a bad seed or not. I can definitely tell you this. This side, where there's hardly any corn, that was some sweet corn that I planted. And I ordered those seeds online on Amazon. I'm not going to drop the company name and make them look bad, but as you can see, that's the germination rate. Pretty much, if it did germinate, it died. See, these are all brown on the top. Yeah, so, the rest of them look great, though. These are called uh, dented mountain corn, I believe. And on the packaging, it showed the uh, multicolored corn kernels. So we'll see how those turn out. And the growth on these has been crazy fast. I planted these about four days ago. And they're already five or six inches tall. And I've got some strawberries over here I, I haven't done anything with yet. They're still in their planters from the hardware store. So that's the, uh, the crack key corn. So we'll go over here and show you guys the uh, the other carrots. These are the aquaponic carrots. They're doing really, really, really good. Let me check these out here. So we've got 120, and there is a carrot in every single one of those doggone containers. And if you see the, some of them have a little, what looks like white mildew on there, it's not really mildew. I crushed up a bunch of eggshells, and then I used the, uh, uh, the blender, and I uh, crushed them into a fine powder, and I just sprinkled some of that in here, so that they could get some calcium in the, on the cocoa core. So that some of it stuck to the leaves. I could probably spray it off with the hose, but it might irritate the plants, so I'm going to leave it. It doesn't seem to be bothering them. Pull one of these out. You can see the roots down there at the bottom. They're all nasty looking. <laughs> but the plant seems to be doing good. Got some gonna have a lot of carrots here pretty quick. And over here we got some watermelon. I know I said I wasn't gonna put anything else down here, but I got these at the store uh, on an impulse. I didn't plan on buying watermelon, but they had them in there and I was like, oh I want to try to grow them. So there's one there and I put another one over there. That way if the roots get real big, they're not going to clog up the system. I may pull those out and move them anyways. And up here we got the aquaponics. Got a bunch of carrots. Probably pull these out in the next couple of days or so. They're still pretty little. I'm not going to mess with them. And then we've got here a uh, cow horn hot pepper. I've never had one of these before, so that'll be interesting. It's pretty big. It's probably about 8 or 10 inches long. Looks like there's another one back here. I know why they call them cow horns, because that's exactly what they look like. Then over here we've got some pretty good sized rhubarb. Can't wait till these ripen up so I can juice some of them and see what it tastes like. When I was a little kid, I remember eating this stuff all the time. It grew wild on the side of the house. And this thing's been in here for about two, four, five months now. That is one big freaking leaves. Look at that. See my hand on there? That's easily four times larger than my hand. That's a massive leaf. Then in here we got a bunch of radishes and a couple of cucumber plants. Uh, this one looks like squash maybe. Yep, that is salad squash. Salad, oh no it's not, sorry. Salad bush cucumber. Oh, that's weird, it looks like squash. Maybe I labeled it wrong. And zucchini, that one looks like squash too. 
I don't know, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens when we get some fruit growing on there. And some more radishes mixed in around here. And another squash plant back there. That one doesn't look too good, it's a little pale. And I got some basil. I need to go through and thin out some of these tomatoes, like that one right there. I need to get rid of that big mess. Anyways, we'll go over here. Got some more carrots and uh, uh, avocado tree. Some more carrots, some more tomato plants I need to get rid of. We're still producing fruit. There's a whole bunch of little tiny fruit up there. But those are really tiny. <laughs> oh, look, there's a red one. I'm going to eat that one right now. It's so little. Look at that. It's the size of the tip of my pinky. Alright, like all there. Oh, pretty good. Oh, here we got the poblano ancho. It's not really producing a whole lot of pods. I think this is only the third or fourth one it grew on. Uh, it's got to be a nutrient deficiency. Then over here, we got the Dutch buckets. They're all looking all right. A couple of the avocado trees are dying. Well, I'll show you those in a minute. And I'll show you some things that I messed up on too. So we'll go down here. Look at these nice looking tomatoes. And you look at the bottom, it's all rotten. And that is called blossom and rot. And the reason for that is a calcium deficiency. Uh, the hydroponic nutrient solution that I was using when I started out this system, it says clearly on it, do not mix with calcium or any, anything else. But that is a lie. Because <laughs> I definitely needed to add calcium. That's why I'm getting a lot of blossom and rot on there, which, you know, whatever. We, uh, we got the right stuff going in there now, so if you look at this guy, there's no blossom and rot on there. This one either is very healthy. This thing's all strung up. I don't know if you can see the fish line strings I got on here. They're little yo-yo guys that clip on up there. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six branches attached to that. And this thing is just loaded with tomatoes. Quite a bit of them in there. And then we got my tiny Tim right here. I don't see any fruit yet, but there are many, 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 many. Oh, wait, I take that back. There's one right there. So we do have some fruit going on there. And then we got the pole beans. They're doing really good. So the top of that, that's about six inches higher than me, so probably about six and a half feet tall from down here so that thing's doing well the res tank water's getting a little warm I'm not looking forward to burying that but that's what I'm gonna have to do real soon it's not hot but it is warm then we go over here to the blackberries here's all the new growth on the blackberries and uh, here's the blueberry. I finally got, I don't know if you can see those on the camera, but there are new shoots coming out finally. I raised up the acid level, lowering the pH. And then the grapes right here, this one, this thing is going just crazy. It's going really, this is all new growth. When I got it, it was just a couple of sticks. This whole vine here is new. These are new. This whole top section here, this is all new looks pretty good this one over here is it's doing all right but it's not as uh, uh, it's not as vigorous as the other one and then here we got eggplant and it looks like we're gonna have a bunch of eggplants on there and here we go here's the best looking avocado tree and you can tell it's burning. Um, I need to build something to shade this with. It's definitely getting burnt from the sun. I checked the salinity of the system and uh, there isn't even a measurable amount of salt right now. So it's definitely not a salt problem. This one over here is worse for wear. These are all really crunchy and it looks like the center portion here. It may, uh, it may be on its way out. That's all right, I have another one I can replace it with. And then I've got five more inside. And this one is just totally burnt. But if you look at the center, 
It does have new growth in there, so you know, I guess we could hold on to hope for this guy. It's gonna keep doing its thing. As you can see, I put uh, I put shade cloth around it to help because these were getting really warm on the inside. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna unplug the timer right now and I'm gonna turn it on so that it just stays on. I noticed that, sorry about the camera guys, I noticed that when this thing is just running 24 seven, it tends to keep the water a little bit cooler. I'll have to come back over here and add some water later. But there we go with the, uh, the back side of the aquaponics. There is just Swiss chard taking over. This stuff is gigantic. It's like a forest in there. And it's cool too, you can reach my arm down in there and the temperature drops a lot. I'm probably gonna get rid of this stuff. I'm not a real big fan of it. It's really salty. I don't really like salty vegetables. I tried to juice some of it and it was like drinking a can of salty soup. <laughs> it was gross. And we got some eggplants. Not, not doing too good still. I showed these in the last video. They're kind of brown colored and they're, sh they're supposed to be black. So I think they're going to die. We're going to yank those out. And the spinach looks like it's dying too. It's getting too warm out. Oh, look at that one. It's totally dead. It looks like it's not even getting any water. There's definitely water flowing here. Check the drain, check the filler. Yep, it's definitely going. So it must have been stuck on a constant siphon. I just had to flow, I had to adjust the flow on it. But we're gonna pull out all these tomatoes here. This is a really old plant, it's almost two years old. And it's still growing, but there's it's just sucking up the nutrients and wasting it. And here we got some more pole beans. They're going up to the top there. There's another one climbing up that side. Kind of interesting. They just kind of find the string and go at it, climb up it. I didn't put that there for the plant. And over here we've got bell pepper. <laughs> one bell pepper.